Welcome to the Umarex booth 2024 at Iowa. I'm here with Sebastian and we're looking at some new stuff that they have at the booth for Airsoft. And it's not this that is kind of crazy. I just want to like, can I show it? Of course. Look at the front real quick. It doesn't have anything to do with Airsoft, but it's, it's very loud and bright. And this guy almost freaked out. But we have something else to show. If I may steal this from you. Thank you very much. Um, what is this? It looks pretty cool. It looks like an agent. So this is a new PPK. Airsoft gas blowback pistol. Original function like the real one. You can pull the trigger, have a gas blowback system. You have a 30 round BB magazine and you have an original hammer system. You can easily decock and you can switch to fire mode and can shoot with double action, of course. Also, completely disassembling like the real firearm. This comes with silencer and without silencer, as a kit and as a single pistol. And this looks like you're a special agent when you're using it. Yeah, of in course. A sense. Where do I know this from? Does this have like some movie reference or something? Yeah, I think you know it, huh? No, I don't. James Bond. Uh, it is James Bond? Yeah, okay, I didn't want to say it and sound wrong and be like a complete dummy, but that's <laughs> what it kind of reminds me of. So if you want to be a 007, this is the one to go for. Yes. But besides that, there are a couple of revolvers. Which one should we grab? Take the first one. Okay, let's have a look at that one then. What is special about this? Yeah, this is a Smith & Wesson revolver. So and we take a new facelift. This is a competitor with a complete aluminum style barrel. And this here is original drum system with fake bullets. You can put it out. You can put the Airsoft BB inside and function is like the real revolver and the CO2 power is inside the grip system. This original rubber grip feels like a real grip from the real firearm. So, and you have a rail system on top on the gun. You can put easily a red dot or side on it and it's a real heavyweight. Just try it. Oh man, yeah. This, when you make these kind of guns, are you trying to make them like realistic weight? We want to have the requirement to have a big and heavy gun, so like the real one. And the real one has here the weights inside for sporting. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, you can unscrew it, but this is aluminum, of course, and this is here steel. Aluminum, steel, CNC millet. It feels really good, actually. Also, the other one felt really, really good. I mean, I've never really shot a revolver, but if you're looking for something that is feels like a revolver, looks like a revolver, and functions like a revolver, yeah. if you want to be a cowboy, in a sense, that's the one to go for. What's the difference between the other ones? It's just different styles, or? The other one is a um, more classic one, and this is also um, based on a movie or a TV series on the 80s. Which one is that? Uh, I don't know if I can say it, but if you are Google the sledgehammer, you will easily find it. Comment down uh, in the YouTube sections and let me know what this is because I don't. So same function like the other one. So it's basically the same model and... Same, same model, different style. All right, got you. And moving on, we have something else from Glock. Which color do you like most? Mm, you can choose a desert maybe. Desert. All right, here we go. So it's, it's pretty, pretty similar to the French army Glock pistol. So here one is uh, CO2 powered and um, you have a blowback. It's not a realistic blowback like the uh, PPK, but this kind of gun is mostly common for using in the winter. So you will have no problem or no issues with cool down on this gun. Yeah, I mean so CO2 is much better for that. And also the plastic or polymer grip is very close to the to the original Glock. We are sending samples with color pieces of original Glock to the, to the vendor and they make it original. Uh -huh, so, okay. and the Makes sense. powder coating is really close to the real one. Let me see. Feels good for sure. So it doesn't pull back the housing inside. No. It's just a slide, but it does reciprocate when you shoot, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're looking for something that does have a reciprocating slide, we have that. And we have some new Glocks I can show you later, but I first would, um, all right. Go on with the Berettas. I like the green one. I think we should the green one because we have a red dot on side. So, and maybe you can see it. Here's a Burry's red dot on side. The most common red dots will fit on this gun because included in the kit content, there will be three plates and you can choose your favorite red dot on this gun and can use it like That's a real gun. That's included with the kit of the gun. Yeah, the That's plates. Nice. The adapter yeah. plates are included, not the red dot. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. So, and those are GBBs, those are not CO2, yeah? This is GBB, standard 
GBB magazine airsoft gun, completely disassembly like the real firearm. And uh, yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one scale to the Beretta. Thank you. Feels nice too, actually. We have still a Glock yeah. that is not the same as that one, right? No, no, no. So what's special about the Glock that's, that you have over there that's different from the one we just saw? Let me show you. These are like the most this year. So we have a real 101 replica with original markings and original aluminum CNC millet slide. And included in the kit content, there are also four plates. You can use your favorite plate style for the correct red dot you want to have. And it comes with a CO2 powered system and also available will be a gas magazine, optional, if you want. The slide fully reciprocates and the nozzle housing opens up. Yeah. And what is real nice, it's a, it's a blowback. You can choose it. It's really heavy. How, how much joules do these guns have? Uh, I think that's around about 1.1 or 1 joule. So. It sounds so much more powerful than that. You, you hear it in the background, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's of, of course, for the players, and that's why we have one jewel, so. Right, you don't want to hurt anyone. That makes total sense, especially in CQB when you're actually going to be using this as a backup. So, and then we have um, our keep it simple gun, but also nice finish, it's a new PDP. So this one comes in a set, of course, with the red dot from Humorex. Oh, it comes so included. It's included. Cool. So, and also it's included uh, one plate. If you don't want to shoot it with red dot, you can easily change the plate and have a slimline design. Cool, that's very nice. So and this, I can see a nice stiffle grip. This one, is a, this is a magazine. Keep it simple. And the CO2 cartridge is hidden in the back. So let me show you. Here you've got the back and you have a tool inside to open it. So it's everything included. And there's a fix it slide. So you have no cool down issues for the winter play. And you're not using so much power to reciprocate. Yeah. So more shots out of this, I guess. I think so, yeah. So you can you probably shoot more than one magazine with one cartridge of. Of course, I think you can shoot four or five magazines without problems. Cool. All right, that's pretty nice. New um, style 1911 model. So this is a Elite Force Blamer. So this is completely made of polymer. The entire firearm. And fire completely. Of course, the inside internals are made of steel. Same system, uh, like you know, on the Beretta or on the other guns. You have CO2, or if you want. We have the same gun as a GBB gas one. Just want to show you, it's the same gun, but I show you the magazine. This is a gas blowback magazine. So you can change what you, what you want. And of course, the internals from the hop-up chamber, the hop-up rubber and the barrel, you can interchange with Marui parts. Nice, It good. will fit, yeah? Perfect. Just for the tuner. Yeah, and obviously you have to do maintenance. If you have this for a couple of years, probably something will be needed to be changed. Yes, and ambidextrous. Uh, operating elements on this gun completely. Well, thank you very much for showing me around your booth. I appreciate it, Sebastian. You're welcome. And, uh, <laughs> I'll see you at latest at next year in 2025 because I know that you guys are always bringing out new yeah, stuff. Of course. All right, and make sure you check out the rest of our IWA coverage. I, I thank you, Sebastian, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.